a set from Fred Silverman asking us if we wanted to do our own show. And then suddenly Gary said, yeah, you, I spoke to Fred. Did he speak to you? I want those boys to be in the army. I said, oh, no, don't do the army. I mean, we'd lose the hair and all this stuff and the way they dress. No, we want them to be in the army. And Michael and I had a different idea that we said, well, if you're going to do a spinoff, why don't you do this? Yeah, da, da. And no. So they'd have to be in the army. And we insisted, well, we're, we're, you know, I said, well, I remember we met the head of Paramount or, uh, God, what was his name? Uh, oh, jeez. Well, anyway, the guy who headed TV. Diller? No, no, it was before him. Oh. Oh, God, it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, he said, well, what do you boys want? I said, well, first we'd like to be allowed to drive on this lot. We don't have a parking space. <gasps> you don't have a parking space? Well, we'll get you like that one. And Michael said, well, I don't know how to drive. I said, get the parking space anyway. It's land in Hollywood. <laughs> Use that land. <laughs> Lie down in it. I don't care. But so, so we did get two parking spaces. We did get to write the presentation, which is like a, uh, a short pilot. We wrote it. We cast it. Um, Gary was going to be director, which was all right. And, um, and we did it, and it went over very well. It was incredible. The, the people they had in the audience were great. They had all these kids from a military school. So they were really tuned into all the stuff about the military and stuff. And so they were laughing like crazy. And, uh, and I think Paramount was happy with it. They put us on their preview reel for the following season. Uh, but it was not to be because ABC, I think, had a pay or play contract with Nancy Walker. And she wanted the time slot following Laverne and Shirley. So at the last minute, they pulled Lenny and Squiggy and put her in there. And that was the end of... Um, of, of the pilot and of us and... Did it ever air? <laughs> no, we said we didn't want it to air. Because we, we had decided we wanted them to go back to their roots. Uh, at the time the show had only been on for like 12 weeks. It was so absurd that we were spinning off. And we said the audience just figured out, you know, who they are. So we had decided, well, as long as we're going to do this thing, why don't we make them, let's give Squiggy his real name. So he made it Ant Ant Anthony Squigliano. So that was it. It was Lenny Ant. But, and Gary wanted to show it, you know, one of the things, I'll do it where the girls say goodbye to you guys, you're drafted, and then you come back and nobody notices. I said, well, wait a minute, you can't do that. You're gonna show the pond. We don't ever mention the girls. It doesn't matter. Well, the, I spoke, but up on the, you know, on the locker, it says, it says Squigliano. I mean, that's the wrong name, you know, it's Squigman. They'll never know. And so, but we refused to let it go. We thought, no, no, no. We're not going to cheat the audience. They'll either see it as a show or not see it at all. So, that was so it. they should put it out on DVD now. I guess they will <laughs> if they. I mean, they could. I don't know what they could do. I mean, they could do anything, you know. But um, I somehow don't think it will, you know, unless there becomes a tremendous Lenny and Squiggy renaissance. If you like the Boomer Tube, why not subscribe? And to see the full interview, check out our Patreon page to become a member. We upload new exclusive content every single week. And you can access our library easily. Thanks.